Mommy's waxing her underarms. What am I doing? I'm going to do my upper lip too. Come on. All right, come on, come on. Come on. Mom, you want to help you? No, don't touch it. Stop. Don't be a little bitch. Come on, Con. You can do it. God, why did I put this on? Oh, my God. One, two. I am currently cleaning my bedroom and I'm about to actually run to the grocery store. Okay guys, before I leave, this is what I'm taking with me. I have a spray bottle of Lysol because honestly, I never thought about the doorknobs on my car and all that and people touch your car and walk by. So before I touch my doorknobs, I've been spraying them with this Lysol. I'm taking two pairs of gloves with me and where's my hand sanitizer? It's upstairs, okay. I'm gonna grab my hand sanitizer and take that with me also. Just want to be really, really mindful because I'm trying to be very mindful because the virus is supposed to be at its peak within the, the these days, like the days we're in right now. It's supposed to be at its peak. So anybody who's been asymptomatic, who's been carrying the virus, is supposed to be presenting with symptoms now. So I'm just gonna, I'm just taking this stuff so I can stay keep protected. And I have my mask in the car, my face mask, and we're doubling up. I'm putting on the two face masks and I'm actually gonna put on like a, a cover over top of that, like a fabric cover. The, um, uh, I forget what they're called. It's like a face shield or something like that. You'll see. All right, let's go. Okay, so I just got to ShopRite and yeah, let's go see what is left in here. I haven't been grocery shopping in like two weeks. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of nervous about going into this grocery store because it's populated with lots of other people. I have my masks. I'm gonna carry my hand sanitizer. I'm even gonna bring my Lysol in and Lysol down my whole fucking shopping cart. I'm not kidding with you guys. I cannot get this virus and I cannot bring it home. I can't. I have two kids, so let's go. All right, I'm gonna get set up right in here. All right, first let me clean my hands real quick one more time. And I got, so this is what I what I was wearing last week a little bit over my face. I'm trying to decide, should I put this on my face first and then put those masks on? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me put these on first. <sighs> Cause I can like cover my neck up. It's gonna be so fucking hot in here. All right, so I'm gonna do that first. Oh my God, I'm gonna be sweating. You're gonna do what you gotta do though. All right, and then I'm gonna put on these. The reason I'm putting on so much stuff is because none of these are made to protect me from the virus. Oh. So I gotta put on extra to like make sure, okay? So with this fabric, it adheres to my face a little bit. And then with these masks, I can pinch it at the bridge of my nose and it's, it's, it's doing something. It's working, it's doing something. This is better than nothing at all. All right, all right, yeah, there we go. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. All right, I think I'm done. All right, wallet, Lysol, hand sanitizer, check, check, check. Got it, got it, got it, let's go. this ripple it is dairy free and it's oh, it's unsweetened but it's vanilla which is you know I guess kind of close to the vanilla almond that we get look at this my god fruit good thing I have another pair all right I'm checking out now I don't even know if you guys can hear me I have so much over my face, but we're checking out. We made it. It wasn't too bad. We are back in the car. God, I'm so hot because of that mask that I was wearing. So guys, shout out to any anybody, not even just medical professionals that have to wear a mask at work. Personal protective equipment is hot as shit, and we have people that are on the front line in the medical field, or you know, even in grocery or even gas even people that are pumping your gas. And they're putting this shit on every single day for their entire shift, however long that may be. Shout out to you guys because that shit is not comfortable at all. I am very blessed and grateful that even though I'm a nurse, my patients aren't, they don't 
live-in facilities so I don't have to worry about them being them contracting it from there and they don't leave the house they run a risk of me bringing it to them versus them bringing it to me and giving it to me and my children you know what I mean because I would take that home if you haven't seen my um, my coronavirus video you guys need to check it out I will put it in the description box below even though I made a vi I made a video talking about the coronavirus and implying that I definitely could have had the virus because I definitely could have had the virus and far as I know to my knowledge I don't know if I had it or not but I can't say that I didn't I can't especially given the time that we got it and the symptoms that we had um but still it doesn't it doesn't change the fear about the virus for me anyway so I'm being careful and I'm being smart I'm using common sense this sounds crazy but I'm gonna like Lysol down everything before I put it away because these are things that are sitting here in a grocery store people are touching them employees are facing them hands have been on them so there's germs on them and I just gotta be careful I gotta be careful now and that's like the thing I think is nerve-wracking. To each its own, whatever you're doing for you and your family to keep yourself protected and safe from spreading this shit, do you. Don't worry about what nobody else thinks. to go upstairs and start this whole entire waxing process something's in my eye in my eye. feel it i feel something in there come on <laughs> i'm not in the mood for this come on i feel it floating around in here i'm so tired of this like i feel it over here like back here i just need to start uh, using my eye cup and washing my eyes out every morning because this is ridiculous so here is my brunch just something simple, something light. Shrimp and grits. There we go, the grits are underneath it. Doesn't that look amazing, does it not? I'm excited to eat, I love food. Food makes me happy, and good food makes me very happy. This is like, I wanna say like a comfort food for me. I don't eat it all the time, but when you do, oh, it's just so good. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's go upstairs so we can start removing the hair off my body. All right, so. In my last vlog, I um, did like a drugstore run. I got myself some <laughs> wax hair remover ready strips. We're gonna see, did I, wait, hang on. I just shaved my underarms yesterday. I had to check to make sure because I didn't know if that was a dream or not. Sometimes it was all a dream. This is my Nair and these are like wax ready strips. Easy steps to beautifully smooth skin. Peel slowly, separate the strips. Yeah, I'm getting nervous. Oh, I'm starting to get scared. Posts waxing wipe. Okay, all right. I want mommy. Post waxing wipe. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let me calm down. I'm gonna go mommy. I don't know why I smell everything. I'm like an animal. Animals sniff everything before they go about, you know, eating it or putting it on them. So I guess it just makes me smart. I guess I gotta get the deodorant off. Okay, it's not a lot of hair, but there's enough. This kind of seems a little bit oily, like it's going to mess with. Well, it's made for this. It's It'll probably be fine. Okay, all right, here we go. My hands are all oily. Mama, Should I let it dry? No, this isn't a mask, this is wax. wax. Mommy's waxing her underarms. Well, I'm gonna do my upper lip too. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. There's hair. I got hair on my upper lip. Can I help you? This just seems so oily. Like I feel like it's 
like going to slip Add or was this for afterwards oh it said post shit oh my god oh my god can you go get me some tissue this is for after oh my god i'm so stupid Christ. <laughs> james hey mom you're not stupid i'm like yeah yeah okay i'm so i can't believe i just did that <sighs> this looks like it's going to hurt all right so this is what it looks like I'm getting so nervous because <laughs> I'm because as hard as it is to get those separated I'm like yo what if this gets stuck under my underarm I'm gonna be so upset I just felt myself perspirate under my underarm because I'm freaking the hell out so in videos I always see them kind of like smack it like that <laughs> like <laughs> oh this is, this is really really tight okay okay oh god Ma, you want to help you no don't touch <laughs> no, pack up! I got it! Chill, I'm so serious. What if some skin comes off with this? Alright, come on. Alright, come on, come on. Come on. Don't be a little bitch. Come on, come on. You could do it. Be a boss, 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 be a boss. Be a boss. <laughs> It's not gonna kill me. God, why did I put this on? Oh my God. Yo, why did I put this? And Jay is over here smiling at me like, I'll take it off. I feel like it would've probably been easy if I did it on my leg. You know what, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Hey, you I'm, gonna do. I'm gonna put one on my leg and see how that feels and then maybe I'll feel more, more confident about ripping it off my underarm. Okay, all right, so let me put it, let me try it right here. Let me try it down here first, okay? We'll see how this, see how this feels. It may not be as bad, even though my underarm is is a sensitive area. You know what? I should probably not do this again. I, I gotta get these both off now. So I should rip it this way. Oh shit. Honey, the shenanigans you get yourself into. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now I'm getting scared again. Oh god, I need a drink. And you can't I need a drink, guys. That's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Alright. One, two. It's gonna Why are you you're making it worse, Jaden? Why would you be what if it doesn't even work? Alright, 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 alright. One, two. Ah! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! That shit fucking hurt. Right? <laughs> oh my God! I don't know if I could do that again. Oh my God! Look at the hair. Oh my goodness! Yo, I can see the follicles. Damn! The way my my legs felt, they didn't even feel like there was that much hair on it. You see that? It didn't even feel like it was that much hair on it. And yet I'm looking at it from this uh, perspective and I look like a fucking man. All right. I am very discouraged because that hurt. Three, two. Jaden, I do not need your commentary. Okay. Okay, honestly, the more I do it, the more I'll get used to it. All right, I need to stop being a little bitch and just rip it off. All right, come on, be a woman. Come on, come on, come on. Women are strong. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Get out. There's a lot of hair in here now that I'm like looking. This is exhausting. One. <laughs> Good. Uh, one. Correct. Uh, I'm gonna help you. No, I can't, you know, because if, if I start bleeding, I'm gonna have to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you rip off skin, I'm gonna be really mad. I can live with being mad at myself, but if you rip off skin and I bleed every time I look at you, I'm gonna be pissed. Ouch! That should have hurt and no hair came out. Ouch. And there's hair under there. That hurt. I'm not going to try that again. Not under my underarm. Well, that wasn't successful under here. I can live with it. Or maybe it's because I put this on there first. I should try the other underarm. Oh, ooh, no, I could use it on my arms. That's something that I could do. I could use it under on my arms. Trying to get the deodorant off. Ah, that's your stop. All right. <clears throat> One, get two. On. Ouch! Ow! 
And it only took off two hairs, three hairs. I'm not using this on my underarms again. I could do the Brazilian area, but I don't know if I have the willpower to rip that off. I might be, I might like end up walking around for days with something that attached to my crotch area. All right, let's try waxing my right arm. It does hurt, I'm not gonna lie, it does hurt. But is it like, you know, excruciating? Well, my right under, my left underarm does still hurt, but I think it's because of the location. Like I said, it's a real sensitive spot. Should I rip it this way? Or let me tilt you guys so you guys can see. Should I rip it this way? Or that this way? I should rip it this way. All right, all right, brace myself. I can hold myself now. Okay. Ah! Here come the kids. They're like, mom, we heard a scream. I'm okay. I just pulled off some more hair off of my body. May as well finish. It's so bad. Uh. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Damn, that stuff hurts. I better not see hair for like uh, a freaking month. I better not see hair. I better not see anything sprouting. I don't know how people do this to other people. Like I don't know how they do this in the salons because this is like very abusive and very painful so I can't imagine like watching somebody scream in this kind of this kind of pain and me be the reason why my underarm is really freaking sore this place this this it's like it really it's like sore right underneath here I'm not doing my underarms again no I won't do there ever again why did I put this on here ow 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 ow, ow. I couldn't take the whole thing off all right all right all right, all right. Ow! Is this worth it? Is it worth it? Ouch! All right, I'm gonna stop after this because the anti-cubital space is real sensitive. Mine is very sensitive and I bruise very easy. I bruised from tape from IVs before, so I'm not gonna chance it just to wax it. My whole entire damn forearm is sensitive. Why did I do this? Ouch! This isn't the product that's the problem. This shit's just painful, so. Uh, maybe if somebody else were to do it, it would just be different for me, the experience. But it's hard to be willing to put something back on your body and rip it back off over and over and over again when you're the one who has to rip it off and you're the one who feels the pain, so. I would love to wax alternatively because like I said, the hair will stay away longer, but not at this expense, not if I can do it myself. <sighs> All right guys, I'm gonna go edit.